Hey and welcome back to Redmond Racing. In this video, we have a versus battle between the Haas and the Max. This has been a good rivalry ever since they've come out because they've been the battle of attempt scale trucks. We have the ramp here with us to test its jumping ability. We're going to be testing its racing ability, its stability, its tricks, and to make sure it stays to the end because we also did a tug of war and a full speed head on collision between these two cars. And my Max body did not make it through, and that Haas body did not go well either. So first we're gonna get into the specs, then we're gonna start racing. All right, so we got the Max and the Haas side by side. The first thing you're gonna notice is the Max is much longer. I think it's about two inches longer and a bit taller and a bit wider. And it's a lot heavier, so it is bigger in every category. And the first thing I wanna mention is this Max body. This is the very original body we got last year in July. And there's some scratches in this shock tower. There's some cracks in the sides but it has lasted this entire time through all the bashing videos and the Haas body is falling apart after a few months there's a big crack from the thing that's coming later in this video some more cracks in the front and another thing we did upgrade the shock top the um shock colors from plastic to aluminum and we got the spline wheel hexes and for the Haas I think the only upgrade is these GTR shocks all right for the detailed specs the max is 22 and a half inches long, so that is the biggest difference when it comes to their sizes. But it only has 1.9 inches of ground clearance from its lowest skid plate, and it is 10.4 pounds. The tire diameter is 5.64 inches. The wheel diameter is 2.8 inches, and it has a Valenium VXL 4S and 3S capable um, ESC and comes with a 540XL motor. And for the speed, if you have a 2350 gear ratio on a 3S LiPo, you go about 40 miles an hour. But if you throw in that high speed gearing, which is a 2546 on the same battery, you'll go 45 miles an hour. And for the 4S, with the low speed 2350, you go 55 miles an hour. And a 2546, you go 60 miles an hour. All right, the Haas 4x4 VXL is about 20.2 inches long. It's got 2.75 inches of ground clearance. It weighs about 6.3 pounds and that's without the battery. It's got almost eight and a half inches in height. The tires are 5.3 inch tall sledgehammers. The wheels are 2.8 inches. And this does have the VXL 3S ESC. And it does have the same motor as the Max. It does have the Valenium 540XL brushless. As far as the speeds go, if you're gonna run this thing on 2S with a 1654 gear ratio, you're gonna hit about 30 plus miles an hour. If you wanna hit that 40 plus miles an hour, you're gonna to wanna to run a 3S LiPo at a 1454. That 50 plus mile an hour range, you're gonna to wanna to run a 3S LiPo at an 1854 gear ratio. And if you wanna hit the top speed of 60 plus miles an hour, you're gonna to wanna to run a 2350 gear ratio on a 3S LiPo. All right, so the Haas 4x4, it doesn't come with a heat sink or a fan, but I would definitely add one, especially if you're in a hotter weather area. Do like the suspension on this, but that's only because of the GTR shocks. It did have the Ultra shocks, and those just don't provide enough rebound, especially if you're jumping this thing a lot, and they tend to wear out really fast. And as far as the center drive shaft, I do like how they finally covered it. They didn't do that in the Rustler. So I really like that. I like how the uh, the servo is actually mounted because on the bottom, it's a lot easier to adjust. And I don't know why they didn't cover the center drive shaft completely. I think they could have maybe enclosed this because that way nothing can get inside. But the Max, I like the design of the Max. Is look at these two. I mean, when you go out running these things really hard in the dirt, you're gonna get a lot of dirt in this one. It's kind of like the slash. It literally just collects everything. Whereas the Max, this is probably why it's so durable. It's got this bucket design, and that design helps to keep stuff out, but it also keeps everything safe. I mean, look at the shocks. They're enclosed, so even if you hit something on a head-on collision, the chances of you breaking a shock are probably very unlikely. We, I don't think we've even broken a shock cap yet. Uh, it's handled really great. These are actually the original control arms. We have not broken one yet. Uh, that just shows you the durability. The only thing I wish that they would change, and I know there's some things out there that you can change this with, but the screws and the back skid plate. I don't know what it is with this back skid plate. I think mine's missing one on the front, but both of ours are missing two or three of these screws because they get sheared out. If we want to line these up axle to axle, let's do that real quick. So if we go to axle to axle, right about there. So, I mean, it's not a tremendous difference as far as length, but there is a big difference in height. Big difference in height. 
And if you go side to the front so we can see the width, tire to tire right there, it is considerably wider than the Haas. All right, so today we're gonna be running the 3S LiPo on the Haas. This is a 5,000 milliamp. The Max, I really like the battery tray on the Max. I like how it clips in. The only battery tray I like more than this was probably the Sledge. So the, even this big 4S 67 milliamp LiPo fits perfectly fine in this and it clips really well. We've only had this break once or I think once. The arm came out a second time, but this has been a great battery tray. We have not had any issues with this and I really like how quick it is. The only thing I wish that they did was put some pins in the side to keep it from popping out. Cause sometimes when you're hitting hard, one will pop out like that, which isn't a big deal. But what happened last time is this ear right here, it actually got sheared off, but Traxxas went ahead and sent us a brand new one. So I really like that battery tray. As far as the weak points go between these two trucks, the Max doesn't have a whole lot. We have bent some of the steering links, but that's really not a big deal. I think every four months or so, we replace the servo saver because the servo saver does get worn out depending on how hard you bash it. We did have to heat, sh uh, heat shrink the wires because they get frayed, uh, frayed a lot. And it's mainly because of this zip tie that Trax just puts on. So what I do is I put a little bit of uh, heat shrink on that zip tie and it kind of cushions a little bit so it doesn't rub anymore. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Like I said, we haven't broken any arms. We've only broken a few axles, and some of those were just because of bicycles and failed wheel bearings. Uh, but that's it. The Max doesn't have a whole lot of weak points in the body. This body is over a year old, and you guys really need to shoe goo your bodies because this is why you do it. This has held up so well. There's a lot of cuts and scrapes, but we do have another body that we did not do this to, and it did not survive and the body is still easy to put on. I mean, you can't beat that. The only thing I don't like, and it's the same thing on the Haas, the sides pop out all the time. There's really no way to get around that. Unless you guys know of anything that I can change, please leave a comment. I know they make bigger uh, side guards. If they were just a little bit taller, they would capture that body a little bit better. I think that would be really nice. I don't know what to say about the Haas. I don't know its weak points yet, but for the rustler, it's it's the axles. The axles constantly break. Uh, I don't know any other weak points yet because he's only broken maybe one axle. Uh, we bent a, a rear link, and that's because of what you guys are gonna see later in the video. And that's it. And an the, arm. And Oh yeah, and an arm. Which arm? What member? Oh yeah, that's right. Dispatch. He broke this arm. He ended up putting uh, RPM arms on. So he did break an arm. So, yeah, I really think this is just like the Ruster. The only difference is it, it's, it's a little bit taller. It's supposed to be a little bit beefier, but guys, honestly, if you're gonna buy this truck, I would honestly buy the Extreme Heavy Duty kit. And this antenna, he needs to super glue this thing in because this antenna does not want to stay. As far as the body goes, putting it on, uh, this is why you shoe glue. We mentioned to him to go ahead and shoe glue this before he started bashing it and he didn't listen. And this is what happens. Um, it just gets torn up really bad. I can't tell you how bad this is, guys. This is, the body's done. The main purpose of the body isn't to make it, the car look good. The purpose of the body is to protect everything inside the car. So this is doing its job for now, but this body now has to be replaced. It's too late to shoot you. So, but as far as putting it on, this one's a little bit tricky. I, I don't know what is with this one. Maybe it's just because it's bent, but Maybe it's just because it, maybe it's just because it's bent. There we go. Now it's on, nope. Now it's on. It could be because it's bent, but this body was a struggle to put on even when it was new. I don't know if maybe they didn't give it enough clearance in the front. Maybe the front bumper, maybe the front bumper is too long. So it kind of catches as you're trying to go forward. The Max doesn't have that problem. Uh, the side guards, same thing. They end up coming out all the time, and that's a really pet peeve of mine. I hate that. I mean, come on. You, you've got to find someone to keep these things in. Traxxas needs to put higher uh, guards on this or something. Maybe, uh, maybe Velcro on the other side of this would help keep that down. As far as the price goes on these two cars, the Max right now I think is currently at $570, whereas the Haas 
is at $460. Uh, that could be give or take, depending on when you guys are watching this, but those are the price points. And I'm telling you right now, you can buy this Haas and you're probably gonna end up needing to put that heavy duty kit in it and you're already at the price point of the max. So at that point, it's pretty much which truck do you want more? Which one makes you happy? Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters is which one are you gonna be happy with? I like the Haas. Then again, I love the Stampede. I wish I had a four by four Stampede over the max. And I'm not saying that the Stampede's better. It's just, for some reason, I find the Stampede really fun to drive. But the max, the max is a beast. I don't know any other car out there that can go through the kind of beating that it does and still rolls. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do with these two trucks is we're gonna go around the bags a little bit, but then we're just gonna play around with them, kind of feel how they handle. We're gonna switch the cars out between me and Will and just kind of see which one that we like more. Uh, we'll hit the ramp a couple times, maybe do some, uh, some back flips and just see overall which one that we think is funner and which one is better. Let's go check them out. All right, so first up we got the Max and the only, the main reason I changed those um, splined hexes, the nut and the spacer they come stock with, uh, it would cause the left side to actually have the tire just go rolling off. And we actually um, destroyed a tire that way. We yeah, had Max can handle these drifts really well. It goes around the bases and its weight and size, it's able to go over the bases without flipping over. It's really good at holding those three wheel drifts just like that. But if you oversteer, it will spin out, but it does kind of save itself. And ho ooh, get a bit of a side wheel bicycle. And the Max does have really good acceleration. It's uh, very similar to the Sledge. The Haas does not have this type of acceleration and braking. All right, so now we're gonna run the Haas, and I've only ran this about one time, so I'm gonna start a bit slow, just try to get used to how it handles. The Haas is definitely fast, like the Max, and yeah, it's a lot lighter, so you got to be a bit more gentle with what you hit. I think that was the body. Yeah, I definitely heard the body hit the tire. It doesn't have the same acceleration as the Max, and it's more narrow, so it doesn't have that same drift. It feels a bit faster on the straightaway, but I don't think it handles the turns as good. It does spin out just a bit more. The Max can usually save itself on three wheels and continue to drift, while the Haas needs all four wheels on the ground. I have driven the Haas a couple times uh, for a crash. Uh, I just have to treat it like the Rustler where you got to be really careful about your turns. Woo! Here we go. But you know, it kind of feels like, this is what it feels like. It feels like the Stampede. If you accelerate too hard, you can't turn. It feels like all the weight's pushed on the back, like the weight's not distributed the best. See right there, I try to accelerate and you can see the wheels turning, but the car is not turning. Yeah, you can feel, you can feel it struggling. It's almost like when you turn, you can see the wheels kind of going back and forth that's probably because tsm's on but you can see the wheels kind of going back and forth because it's like they're trying to keep up so it's just like the stampede where the the front end is trying to you know they're trying to keep up with the back end all right so now we're going to jump the ramp both times with these cars we're going to start off to the max we're going to start slow and then work our way up to a backflip and i'm not sure if the max is going to do a backflip on this ramp just because it's um a bit slippery on the way and there's not much um slope so there's not enough rotation we have done maybe one or two backflips in the past, but we're just gonna see what we can do. Yeah, what he was saying was this ramp is made of metal and it's really slick, especially with the dirt. You end up not getting a whole lot of grip off the ramp. We are gonna put some tape on this uh, to help with the grip. So uh, the Max can do great backflips, so can the Haas. So don't judge it just because of this ramp. Both these cars can do really nice backflips. All right, so let's just, let's just check out how it hits the ramp. Get some good air. 
and the Max makes it look really easy. I mean, it definitely takes a beating too. That's a lot of air. Actually, I'm kind of worried that if he hits it too hard, he's going to be too close, too close to home. I think Yoma's hit home. <laughs> so we do some back flips. All right. This is actually pretty good. Oh! You totally had that. You just had to gas a little bit. Ooh. All right, so now we're gonna do the Haas. We're gonna hit the ramp just a couple times, nice and easy. See how it handles landing, because it's a much lighter truck, but it doesn't have the best suspension, so it might chassis slap quite a bit. Let's just see how it handles before we do any tricks. All right, so the first jump, the Haas. Ooh. <laughs> I barely gassed it, and that thing got so much height. I mean, it has some good, uh, that was a nose dive front cartwheel. No, not a cartwheel, I'm somersault. Tough landing. Some good air. Ouch. It, those GTR shocks are not doing it a favor right now. Those are not good landings. All right, so the second jump, the third. That was just a tough landing. See if you can do a backflip. Okay. You should be able to rotate pretty nice, similar to the Rustler. This shouldn't be that hard to do with this car. Some good rotation. Ouch. Ah, those that sounded are like just, it hurt from here. Those are just really tough landings. Another really tough nosedive. Just not enough rotation. That was all one <laughs> wheel landing. All right, let's, uh, I'm not sure if I can, but I'm gonna attempt a front flip on this. <laughs> oh, wow. What was that? It <laughs> went berserk. Then a seizure in midair. Oh, the screw came out. Oh, the screw came out. I don't know if we have another screw. All right, on that last jump, uh, the screw got pulled out. So we're gonna go ahead and throw one in. I did have an extra one, but I'm gonna move it to the outer slot because I think the threads are now messed up in that other one, but we'll end up getting that one fixed. It's actually not that bad. So we're gonna continue on. Not that that's a weak point, but uh, I don't think I've ever had um, a, a link screw pop out like that before, but. Let's go ahead and keep going. All right, we're gonna have Will try a front flip. He's really good at these. The thing about the Haas though is the front and reverse are really sensitive. Forward and reverse are really sensitive. Well, you did land it. I think the body popped off. All right, so the bottom arm did break. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick where it broke. It broke right at the hinge right there, and that's that's normal. We've had that happen a couple times to the Rustler, and I think it's happened to this one twice. It happened on the front. So what he'll have to do is replace the rear arms with the RPM, because they're much stronger, and he probably won't have that problem anymore. So that'd be a nice little upgrade. So for some reason, doesn't matter how hard I turn, even with take some off, I, woo, <laughs> it got sprayed. For some reason, I cannot get this thing to do a bicycle. Uh, the turning radius is really bad right there. Yeah, I can't get it. I can't get it to do a bicycle, guys. It's got some good acceleration on the grass. All right, so now let's go ahead and get the Max. Let's see what the Max can do. I know it can do great bicycles, and then we're gonna do a drag race. Max has held very good bicycles, even um, around an entire baseball field at one point. So let's see what we can do on our first try. That was oh. nice. Ooh, still pretty good. That's actually really 
Okay, no break dancing. No break dancing. <laughs> it's a bit wet and this is not good conditions. If the conditions are right, we'll be going bicycle from third to first like we've done in the past. But it does get on two wheels. All right, so we're gonna do a drag race. I'm gonna go to that second tree line over there and we're gonna race back to this white line where he's gonna be filming. We're at the line and let's see who wins. I think the Max is gonna take this pretty easily. All right, so three, two, one, go. Go for neck to neck. So Max had a worse start, but Max took it at the end. So yeah, Max wins, but barely. All right, so yeah, I definitely think the, the point goes to the Max on this one. We have raced the Haas before on a road course and on some straightaways on the pavement. And the Max just has so much more acceleration. So I definitely give this one to the Max. All right, guys, so now what you guys all been waiting for, the tug of war, which I recommend not doing because it's really harsh on your drive train. And the head on chicken. This is something we don't ever normally do. And the only reason why we're doing it is because we had so many comments that the Haas was stronger and a better car than the Max. So enjoy. Three, two, one, go. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> we oh, just dug holes. Whoa. Well, that. No, it's not expected. I thought that would be a pretty easy matchup for the Max, but Haas held his ground. So we're probably going to redo it on grass, maybe. <laughs> this is take two. That was actually really surprising. The Haas is holding its ground against the Max, which is four pounds heavier. Round two. Three, two, one, go. Okay, okay, stop, stop. Stop! <laughs> because I was on my roof! <laughs> this is about quarter... This, wait, this is quarter throttle. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. I saw something fly off. Mine didn't sound very well. Very I good. saw a piece of bot. Oh, your battery's out. Oh. <laughs> 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 Wait, is the battery okay? Oh my god. <laughs> that dented in his front body. Clipless system. Let go. Oh, that's fine. The outer shell, the battery torn oh, up look just at that. a bit. All right, for the max. I think the body just popped up. Everything else. Yeah, everything else oh, yeah. is fine. I didn't check the No off. damage. I guess I can't now. I survived! All right, so my overall thoughts on these two cars is uh, the drivability and how it handles, I gotta give it to the Max. It's a lot more stable and you can really hammer down on the throttle a little bit easier. As far as the jumping goes, I also want to give it to the Max just because it, I think it lands better and you can control it a little bit easier in the air. Whereas the Haas, it's it's a hit or miss. I mean, you could accidentally hit brake and go reverse and it just, just goes crazy. And the, the Ruster does the same thing. So they're a little bit harder to correct in the air. Uh, so I, I got to give it to the Max. As far as racing goes, I've seen these guys race several times. I got to give it to the Max. I'd say if you guys want to get the bang for your buck, you're going to want to buy the Max.
All right, so my thoughts, I agree with everything um, Bennett said. The drivability, how it handles, goes to the max. It's just wider, it's heavier. It, if you run into something at the Haas, it tends to flip over. The max, it just goes right over it. It drifts better, it handles better. I think it turns better too. And when it comes to tricks is what I like to do. I like to do a lot of two-wheel tricks in a lot of videos. Max just does better with them. It does bicycles. Haas does better wheelies because that can hold a perfect wheelie, but the bicycles go to the max, no question. And it has more power. As you saw in the tug of war, it was able to pull the Haas like it was nothing. Even on 3S, on a weaker battery, it was able to just, it was just able to knock the Haas down. And also it handled better in the air. So yeah, overall I'll give it to the max. The Haas is just not as durable. And once you get it to the HD kit, you've already had the price of the max and you might as well go with the max. So yeah, max wins. All right, so that's it. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And we are getting close to that 5,000 subscriber range. So if you guys do like our videos, make sure to subscribe because at 5K, we are going to full speed jump the E Revo and the Sledge at 70 miles an hour or close to that. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.